Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna check out Owl's personal reef tank. All right, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. Now, you may recall a few episodes ago, I did a store tour of lifestyle aquariums in Bandura, and I met all the team at the store then. Now, a few people reached out and said, I need to go and visit Al's personal tank, the manager of the store, because he has an absolutely beautiful mixed reef. Now, through the power of that video and all the viewers at home, Al and I managed to get in touch with each other and sure enough, I did manage to score an invite to his house and check out his personal reef tank. So um, without further ado, let's roll the footage and let me share with you Al's incredible mixed reef beauty. All right, Al, tell us all about your system, man. How are you, Sam? I'm good, Thanks for Thank having you. me here, man, in your channel. Thank you. Yeah, this is, um, we built um, this tank uh, I got exactly, actually, the date here, 16th of September 2017. Right, nice, nice. We, so we fill it up with water and start this process. Bit over um, four years old then? Hmm? Bit over four years, yeah, yeah. yeah and what's, what dimensions is this system? This one is eight by two and a half by two and a half Beautiful. high. Um, six, seven foot sump. Um, yeah, so... We actually bought the house in July. Yes. And then my wife went to work and she just found the surprise that I knocked the wall without a permission. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a, yeah. Knocks but, the wall out and put in this beautiful room dividing yeah, fish tank. Yeah, I will probably share with you the photos if you wanna see all the process, yeah, how sure. we've done it. Yeah, yeah. And then always probably 90, 80% of my setups, I always work with the glass with Billy. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Billy, for the glass work. Yes. All the building, all the stuff, we do it with one of my best mates that is a builder. Yes. So we work together. We've done a couple of jobs together, like the Macca's Elfin. Yes, And we yes. build it. It's always him doing all the building, all the, all the nice finish. And yeah. Yeah, it looks an absolute treat. So yeah. What Amazing. else do you want to know? About tell, us, it? tell us about the tank. Tell us about uh, some of the inhabitants, the fish, the coral. I mean, there's some absolutely gorgeous so, pieces yeah. and fish in here. I'm always in love with uh, all the tanked family. Yes. So, yeah, I try to have a little bit of everything. We got a Chevron tank that become now very rare. Yeah. Unicorn, one of my favorite fish. Always is scared to put a blue tank because you know that they're a little bit sensitive. Yes. So always when I add them in the system, that was probably two centimeters. Oh wow! So, so much. never had a problem with that. Cell fins. He's an I had a lipstick tank that yeah, they're a little bit tricky. A bit tricky. To to keep alive. That sail so, is gigantic. Yeah, it's that's a big massive. Unit. He's next to a huge fox face there. Fox but, face um, as well. They still dwarfs him. Supply for um, Ken's Marine. They yeah, supply nice. a really nice and big fish. Definitely. Um, yeah. A couple if of you... gorgeous clowns here as well, I yeah. see. I put them as a babies four years ago. Beautiful. And you got some uh, blue green chromis, light yep. tail anthias. That's how I start the system. So when I build the tank, I went holidays to see my family. Yes. Uh, to South America and then I put 11 crummies that they is still the same 11 wow, nice. and then um, I left for week and a half and that was only crummies no even food or anything yes so yeah they survived and they did the they got that tank cycled the, and, and the ready to go so yeah amazing same aquascape from day one yes so I never change it. I probably did that aquascape in half an hour and I was oh, happy with that. <laughs> Sometimes you get it right once you yeah. don't need to keep tinkering. The rocks, they're not even glue. Wow, just stacked So I use well. only um, real reef rock. Yes. One of my favorite rocks. That's how you get all the purple coral line and all yeah, this stuff. Yeah. Very easy to get established tank with that. And it's a particularly difficult scape to build because this tank is visible from both exactly. sides. Exactly. So I, I, I say to my wife that just stay in the other side of the, the tank and then hold a mirror so I can see <laughs> from both 
But yeah, that was very fun. And I did really quick, so I was really happy with that. Looks amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Show us some of the uh, engine room on this system. So we got in here, we're running an um, Apex controller. Yes. So keep all the levels right. Dosing pump. We got battery backups in here. Um, L2 vector pump. We got over here all the arrow water with the automatic um, shut off. Beautiful. So you don't have to worry about top-ups anymore. All the storage here. When we build the tank also, we did an aluminum frame. Yes. So really easy access when you work in the tank. I can even put my tummy in there and walk yeah, in nice. there. I'm gonna be nice and strong. Think about the evaporation. So we did a fan. Yep, an and I put in the garage the motor, so yes. avoid any noise. Yes. Uh, we're running here Gen 5, yes. uh, blue. Um, we got the Gen 4s here. I'm planning to put another light over here. Okay. Um, same into here. We got another Gen 4s here, Gen 4, Gen 5, but this is the Pro. I did want to put one in each corner sure. to um, to just compare the yeah, color of yeah. the which one gonna be better, you know? Definitely. So personal opinion, I reckon I go with the blue one. Like the I blue? really yeah, like yeah. the blue. If I put the same coral under that uh, light, it's just amazing. Yes. Nile schema, the biggest one you can get. Big Nile. Uh, <laughs> they the do an amazing job, Sam. If you wanna. Have a look, look at how thick the, how much rubbish they pick it up on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very happy with that. Frothing away beautifully. Um, Bash three reactors, Pacific Sun reactor. So I run in the uh, phosphate miners. Yes. And a little bit of carbon. Sure. The other one, bio pellets to remove nitrate and phosphate. I run all the chemicals with Red Sea. Okay. I always been fan of Red Sea. Yes. Same when I do water changes, I use um, Red Sea salt. Okay. Yep. I mix my own. Sure. Yeah. Running the Red Sea uh, system. Uh, yep. Roughly whereabouts are your parameters with the tank? So in here I keep obviously salinity 1.025 sure. to 4. Yes. I try to keep it a little bit lower. Yes. Um, also, we got in here, the yeah, pH is always 8.4. Lovely. Uh, KH is around 8. Yes. Uh, calcium 450, always. Magnesium 1300. Okay, great. Um, yeah, phosphate as low as possible. Yes. But I like to keep a little bit of nitrate. For if sure. you want to keep a SPS, and you want to make them happy, so they need a little bit of nitrate. That's for nitrate, sure. Definitely. Now, tell us. Speaking of the corals, tell us about some of the corals you've got in the system because there's so we got a no shortage of pieces in here. Yellow tip elegans. Yeah. We got a lot of milliporous. Yes. The, the sunset milliporous. They got digitatus here. Yes. Yes. Blue digis. Hammer garden. Always love. Oh, the color of flow from hammer garden always looks a treat. Uh, red cap Monty. Yeah, that just looks like it was always meant to be there. Just a stunning growth pattern. Dallas. I love Dallas. I wish to keep it even higher, but all my customers, they always <laughs> want to frag, frags. so I just keep it. <laughs> and I tried probably to grow together. I got the red poly oh, the Dallas red poly next to yeah, it. Yeah. So I start with a really tiny uh, frag. It's coming along. And it's been growing really, Excellent. really well. Uh, what else? Bird nest. I love beautiful bird bird's nest. nest. That one, yeah, that real toxic green. Yep. Yellow almost. This is another type. Yes, yep. Bird of paradise. Uh, this one got um, pops out of nowhere, so I Big decide galaxia. to keep it. So <laughs> sure. galaxy that was probably like a five cent uh, piece. Uh, frog spawns. Yes. Stack horns. Yeah, red digis. We got um, what they call. Jason Fox uh, gum drop. Nice. Beautiful coral. Yeah. Um, 
purple and a Star Wars, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fireworks. fireworks. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Green Digi. We got the Walt Disney's in there. I Beautiful. had up to 11 frags and then wow. I had a big colony, but yes. we got a big offer from one of my um, crazy customers. That they want to, <laughs> they know patient, they want a big uh, colony, so I sold it. Sure, for hey. the right price, obviously. <laughs> Money talks. <doesn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's so, for sale at the right price. <laughs> yeah, I have a family to fit. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> um, yeah, I like a lot the zoanthias, but you need to be careful when they start spreading. Of course. Um, what else? Just a complete mixed reef. Some really nice recordings. Oh yeah, that big red cyanaria in there is just. Um, Beautiful. Looking nice color and real fleshy. I don't know if you can see the um, green, um, the green piece. Monty, yeah. it's growing crazy. Actually, I glue it somewhere else and they fell and they fell. started spreading <laughs> in there. So I just left it. Fell where it wanted to be. I also love this um, favia in there, which we'll have a look at on the other side, but it's just got its polyps out, <laughs> <laughs> making sure no one gets too close to it. But um, yeah. what a beautiful system. Absolutely gorgeous, complete and uh, true to the word mixed reef, you've got from soft to LPS to SBS, all living in harmony in here, it looks fantastic. Yeah, another surprise for here for Sam, when you come maybe with a longer visit, I got here uh, <laughs> my whiskey collection. <laughs> so we run here external weir, I don't know if you can probably yeah, yeah. see it in there, all the plumbing hidden in there. And then, yeah. And then just all a the nifty whiskey, little spot to put your whiskeys. <laughs> all my fridge magnets. The, all of your uh, items. All my trips and yeah. All the trips, yeah. So try what to a, buy one, yeah. What a great way to merge a couple of hobbies together. Yeah, that's it. I got too many hobbies, that's the problem. <laughs> don't we all, don't we all. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Well, how about we pop over the other side because this tank, not, not that there's not enough to take in on this side, but there is a complete other angle that we can view this from, which makes it look like another tank again, because some of these corals, like the uh, Big Green Monty here, have really grown over the other side, so it gives it a complete, ooh, when I just see that sailfin flare up, what a beautiful fish. Um, Desjardini, yeah, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. That's the one. What yeah. a stunner. So we'll scoot over the other side and check out the tank from there, but um, yeah, keep, keep telling us about it. <laughs> yeah, come around here. We got in this side um, all the Goni Garden. Yes. So normally it's really massive if you give a few more hours. Sure. We got a Gliders. All the rare Gonis, we try to keep them here. I'm missing a few that I want to add in the collection later. Uh, more SPS, all fully encrusted. Um, yeah, when I start with the SPS and KH was moving around a little bit. Yes. Uh, that Florida actually bleach a little bit from the base, same with the blue stack horn. Yes. But yeah, I left it and I'm really proud I did because uh, they start growing amazing and look back. at the colors. Yeah, yeah, you can see the top so, half there is just nice yeah. and fluffy and bright blue. It's, it's coming back an absolute yeah. treat. Leathers, one of my favorite corals, Absolutely. but they take a lot of space. <laughs> they certainly so do I decide to leave all this space just to let it grow. Just to let the leather be a leather. Because yeah, that's in if you in the previous uh, video that you did, Sam. Yes. The leather that was my first coral when I came to Australia, and that was probably this big. Yes. And is did you see the size wow. at the shop? So yeah. yeah. So Gorgeous. I'm really attached with that kind of corals. We got yeah, PC rainbows in there. We yes. got yeah, more bonsai, more lobos. I'm really into lobos. They give you a beautiful uh, color to the tank. That they do. Stunning and the pieces. fabia that you like. Yeah, the fabia hairy. there with these uh, stinger cells out. And then we can see this uh, big green Monty growing yeah. in there. And this big piece here growing Another well. Monty, two different types. Yeah. Um, chalice, That's stack a beautiful horns. Chalice. Yep. I don't know the name of the one at the back, but they're really, really rare. And the polyps, I don't know if you can see it, they're orange. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I never seen one like that. And I start with a little tiny uh, frag. Gorgeous. So probably I'm going to donate one to your tank as soon oh, as I cut it. 
fair strike we're gonna be for Sam. That's for sure. <laughs> Thank you kindly. <laughs> and have a look at this uh, Zohar and Pally garden down here. Just um, holy moly. There's some green style polyps in there too, but uh, they're just all intertwining. Even some uh, disco morphs in there. Unbelievable. Looks great. Yeah. Little uh, copper band butterfly in there too. That one is actually that fish I added probably over three years ago. Yes. And that's why you cannot find a, um, uh, what do you call no it? Aptasia. Yeah, yeah. So I never had that problem, touch wood. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> He's done the job. So yeah, it's been amazing. I, in the past, I never keep one alive for longer than six months. Yes. But yeah, really happy with that. That looks an absolute treat. Yeah. And what is, I mean, it, I, I understand this is your lounge room side, but the tank is absolutely silent. You cannot hear. Yeah, you cannot hear anything. So I normally go for the really good equipment. Sure. That's the trick. And obviously you need to do a really good plumbing to make it dead silent. You absolutely. cannot hear anything. Cannot hear a thing. And I love so, this frame we have around the tank just to really tie it in. LEDs yeah. around there that um, just give it the sense of... Um, yeah, we put all the LEDs in, inside so you can change the colors and everything. Beautiful. Make it a nice uh, feature for the home. Absolutely. Now, in-tank flow, it's obviously a little bit of a challenge when you've got two viewable panes of glass and a fairly long tank. I notice you've got um, a big uh, gyre up one end and then uh, three... MP40s. MP40s. In there. Yeah, I tried yeah. with an MP60. Yes. But that was too much. Too much, yep. So yep. I decided to go for three MP40s yes. in there. Quite drive. And this is actually the Red Sea. Oh, it's the, the Red Sea. Red Sea 45s. Yeah. yeah, nice. Really nice and it's strong units. And yeah, I actually positioned the the magnet inside of the external weir. Yeah, nice. Because nice. I don't have any more space. It's all the plumbing taken. Yeah. And you couldn't move the whiskey out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Whiskey first. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that magnet's obviously holding up fine in the weir. It's, yeah, it's doing the job. Red Sea make a, a high quality bit of gear. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Torch garden is start here. So I'm going to start spreading that. It's I was more concentrated in the SPS first. Yes. And then I'm going to build around. It's not much space where. I can put more, but I will find it for sure. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it was an absolutely gorgeous system. I really appreciate you taking the time to um, show us uh, through it. Thank to you, Sam, for supporting all the, you know, the reefers and all the shops around yeah, Melbourne and Australia. I You're a legend, it. man. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you so it. much. All right. Well, I might finish the video off with just a uh, few minutes of just uh, taking this tank in because um, there's so much to see and I just want to get up close and personal with all of it. So I'll cue some tunes now and um, enjoy the footage, guys.
All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of Elle's personal reef tank. And let me say, I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed filming it. Elle is such a super friendly guy and his family were all very welcoming. Even his little dog was absolutely gorgeous to photograph while I was there. So I had an absolute ball of a time. And I hope you do enjoy the videos like these of people's personal tank tours because personally, I learn an absolute ton of information every tank I visit. I look forward to bringing you more in the future. Now. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all for either L or myself, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. I do personally reply to each and every comment, so it is the best way to get hold of me. And I am looking forward to bringing you yet more personal reef tank tours in the future. So if you're yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time, costs no money at all. Hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner. Other than that, guys, I'll leave you with it. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Bye.